from the pilot committing suicide mid-flight, two aliens and a second Asian Bermuda Triangle engulfing the plane. We take a look through 10 of the most popular theories about missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Number 10. Pilot Suicide One explanation for the sudden disappearance, according to some, could be pilot suicide. But so far, no evidence has come to light to suggest either Captain Zahir Ahmad Shah or co-pilot Fariq Abdul Hamid had such intentions. Malaysian police have attempted to investigate whether any passengers or crew on the plane had personal or psychological problems that might shed light on the mystery. Malaysian police chief Khalid Abu Bakar said at a news conference, We are looking at all possibilities. Other theorists have claimed the pilot or crew could have hijacked the plane themselves. But Hugh Dunleavy, the commercial director of Malaysia Airlines, said the captain in charge of the flight was a very seasoned pilot with an excellent record. Number 9. Terrorist crashed it into the sea. This is perhaps the second most popular and plausible theory. Though no terrorist groups have claimed responsibility for the missing flight, that hasn't stopped theorists from claiming it's the only explanation. There are some terrorist groups that have claimed responsibility over the last few months, including an unknown Chinese group. What really triggered this possibility were the two passengers who boarded the plane with stolen passports, with many believing they must be a part of a huge cover-up to sink the plane. Number 8. Afghan Hijacking A Russian newspaper claimed MH370 has been hijacked and flown to Afghanistan, where the crew and passengers are now being held captive. A military source reportedly told the Moskovsky Komasomolets newspaper, Flight MH370 Malaysia Airlines missing on March 8th with 239 passengers was hijacked. Pilots are not guilty. The plane was hijacked by unknown terrorists. We know that the name of the terrorist who gave instructions to pilots is Hitch. The plane is in Afghanistan, not far from Kandahar, near the border with Pakistan. Others have since gone on to indicate that the passengers have been divided into seven groups and are living in mud huts with almost no food. Number 7. A Life Insurance Scam The Malaysian police chief refused to rule out the possibility of the missing plane being part of an elaborate insurance scam. Khalid Abu Bakar addressed the world months ago to provide an update on the investigation and revealed authorities were exploring every single avenue, no matter how remote. Maybe somebody on the flight had bought a huge sum of insurance, who wants family to gain from it, or somebody who has owed somebody so much money. You know, we are looking at all possibilities, he said. The authorities' investigations extend to examining every detail of the passengers for any clues as to what may have happened. Number 6. North Korea has the plane. A theory suggesting the plane was hidden as a part of an experiment has been circulating. Citizens News site BeforeIt'sNews.com reported, It's conceivable that the Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 plane is cloaked hiding with high-tech electronic warfare weaponry that exists and is used. In fact, this type of technology is precisely the expertise of Freescale that has 20 employees on board the missing flight. It has also sparked theories that the plane could have been taken by North Korea for similarly unknown purposes. A Reddit user wrote, There's no telling what crazy logic they, North Korea, might have for taking a plane. They literally have no grasp of reality and have been caught red-handed kidnapping foreigners. Number 5. Landed in the Andaman Islands The plane was apparently at one stage heading in the direction of India's Andaman and Nicobar Islands, the most easterly part of Indian territory, which lies between Indonesia and the coast of Thailand and Burma. It has been reported that military radar there might not even have been operating, as the threat level is generally perceived to be low. The editor of the island's Andaman Chronicle newspaper dismisses the notion that the aircraft could be there. There are four airstrips, but planes landing would be spotted, he told CNN. He also believed monitoring by the Indian military would prevent an airliner from being able to land there unnoticed. But this is an isolated spot. There are more than 570 islands, only 36 of which are inhabited. If the plane had been stolen, this might be the best place to land it secretly says Steve Bouzdejan, a former BA-777 pilot. 
It would be difficult, but not impossible, to land on the beach, he says. At least 5,000 feet or so would make a long enough strip to land on. Number 4. MH370 hid under another plane. Another evasive technique could have been the plane trying to avoid detection by staying close to another plane. Shortly after its disappearance, one blogger believed the plane may have flown in the shadow of an Afghanistan-bound flight. Keith Ledgerwood suggested, It is my belief that MH370 likely flew in the shadow of Singapore Airlines Flight 68 through India and Afghanistan airspace. As MH370 was flying DAR without a transponder, SIA-68 would have had no knowledge that MH370 was anywhere around as it entered Indian airspace. It would have shown up as one single blip on the radar, with only the transponder information of SIA-68 lighting up ATC and military radar screens. He assumes the aircraft would have then been able to fly freely into uncontrolled airspaces. Experts say this could have happened, but the planes would have had to have been within 3,300 feet of each other. Number 3. Plane Shot Down by U.S. Military MH370 could have been shot down by American fighter jets after believing the plane had been hijacked and heading for a 9-11-style attack. The claims came from Mark Dugan, a former French airline boss. He believes that U.S. Air Force fighter jets were deployed from the Indian Ocean military base in Diego Garcia and were seen shortly after a large passenger plane had flown by. Dugan said he traveled to the Maldives, where he met a witness, who reportedly told them they had seen a huge plane flying at a really low altitude, heading towards the island bearing the Malaysian Airlines colors. Number 2. It's an Asian Bermuda Triangle The idea there could be a second Bermuda Triangle seems a popular one on social media. Its sudden and unexplained disappearance from radar could have several explanations. Whether it be a sudden explosion or mid-air disintegration, or even a mechanical failure. But some theorists believe it simply means the plane has entered another devil's triangle. Boats and planes have been known to disappear in the patch of sea in the North Atlantic Ocean, known as the Bermuda Triangle, including Flight 19 in 1945, when five torpedo bombers mysteriously vanished. But could there really be another one? Number 1. Alien Abduction Social media users have jumped on the possibility of extraterrestrial life having something to do with the missing plane. One user wrote, After an extensive conversation with my father and his partner, we have come to the conclusion that the only explanation is aliens. Another added, I secretly believe the plane is abducted by aliens. I know I'm not the only one. And another user even said there were only two possibilities for its disappearance. Aliens or a D.B. Cooper-style heist. He wrote, This Malaysian Airlines flight has the potential to be either the greatest heist since D.B. Cooper or alien abduction. I vote aliens. What do you think happened to Malaysian Airlines flight MH370? Let us know in the comments down below.